But I am so grateful for Paul Pickering and All Pro Pastors Network. Hundreds of thousands of pastors in several countries around the world are now being ministered to and being prayed with and have found a fortress to hide in. Together as pastors, please welcome my good friend, my prayer partner, Paul Pickering. Ooh, that sun's bright. It's good to be here, praise God. Is there any pastors in the house, if you are, if you're a ministry leader, uh, if you would stand up. If you're online, wherever you are, stand up as a pastor throughout the country, throughout the world. Praise God, let's give them a hand. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Pastors, you know one of the things we, we really appreciate you know that God called you to what I believe is the most important position, the most important call there could be because he has appointed you over his sheep. I mean, his sheep, you are responsible to feed them, to protect them, to lead them, to guide them, to care for them, to be there when they get in trouble. And not only that, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, sometimes taking you away from your family your wife, your children, your grandchildren. I mean, being a pastor, you know, praise God. I just applaud and thank God that he called you for such a time as this. This is an amazing time to, to be in the body of Christ. You know, over the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of things happen in America, and people often ask me, do you think the church weakened? You know, what's the status of the church? I say, I believe this church is strengthened because the body of Christ we strengthen when we're under fire. And that's because we have many, many strong pastors. And I want to thank you for that. You heard a little bit of a, about this ministry. We have something called champion tables for pastors. These champion tables really are a place, pastor, where you can come and develop with three other pastors of different denominations, different race. You come together for strength. It's a prayer fortress. Every pastor needs a prayer fortress. Every pastor needs a champion table where you get accountability. We need accountability as individuals. We need accountability to strengthen us. Your, actually, your sheep need you to have accountability. And we have a platform where we just offer it to you because we care. I'm a seventh generation pastor. I know what it is like. It, it's tough. It's tough. But the rewards are eternal. I'm going to ask you to pr continue to pray for your pastor. Lift your pastors up. But pastors, I want to encourage you to get involved with a table of champions, three other pastors, just like you. It's not a matter of size of congregation. You have a responsibility. You have a responsibility to your family, to your children, to be strong, to be faithful, to just continue to be able to lead as an example that God called you to be. So I want to invite every pastor that can hear me by voices to go and get, become a part of a champion table, whether it's through our organization or not. It's not about an organization. It is about serving God. Your community needs strong pastors. You as parishioners and part of the flock need a strong pastor. Pray with me now. Father, I just pray right now in Jesus' mighty name, dear God, I pray for a renewal in the pastor's a renewed covenant amongst brothers as we renew our covenant in America across this land with you, Father. I pray that our pastors will embrace it. I pray that our pastors will lead the way. I pray that our pastors will be bold and strong and healthy and holy living, dear God. I pray, dear God, that our pastors will reach across the aisle, whether it's a white or black or red or whatever, dear God, whether it's a Pentecostal or a, 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 a uh, uh, non-Pentecostal, dear God. We just pray that our pastors will see we serve you, Jesus. We serve you. We love you. We praise you. And I pray, dear God, as pastors, that we will set an example for all the world to see what your love is really all about. Praise you today. And may your favor and blessing continue to fall on this place today. We pray it, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Thank you. America is seething from politics to the pandemic. Educate.